Louisiana's capital city, Baton Rouge, with a population of over 800,000 and growing, is a major medical research and industrial center of the American South. This is the home of Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center, one of the largest hospitals in the state. With some of the top specialists in the country, 7,000 employees, a busy trauma center, a dedicated children's hospital, and a large physician group network, Our Lady of the Lake is widely known for its care of some of the most complex cases in the southern U.S. Now, a behind-the-scenes look into the advanced technology of this extraordinary place and the robotic surgery and digital imaging technologies that are enhancing the quality of medical care and the quality of life for patients. Enter the worlds of real-life heroes, doctors, nurses, and medical professionals who are dedicating their time, talent, and passion to the pursuit of saving lives. This is Louisiana Med. Today's a busy day in the OR. All of our OR locations are going. We happen to have three locations. Our pre-op areas, our ORs, and our PACU will be pretty busy um, getting those cases through, making sure that our patients um, are settled and um, don't have any additional questions for us. Um, we can get them through efficiently and kind of get our day going. This morning we're just getting our room ready for the patient. Um, we do have a four month old coming in. You can feel it is a little bit warmer in here being that we do have a smaller child coming in. We want to make sure that we're able to keep his body temperature uh, normal. We're going to be preparing the bed with a body warmer to make sure that we can also give him the warmth that he needs. Rose is, is draping out our robot. She's making sure that everything is sterile for the patient. It is a big benefit to use the robot for this type of procedure. We're making much smaller incisions. Uh, and we're able to repair the problems that he's facing with the smaller incisions rather than a big incision. So they heal a lot faster. Uh, the risk of infection is a lot, lot lower. The patient we're taking care of today, uh, well, Donald, is a four-month-old who is diagnosed prenatally with a cystic malformation of the lung. CCAM is congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation, which just means that in the process of the lungs developing, the tissue is kind of malformed in the process of them developing normally. So there's a spot on his lungs where there's a cyst. So it's not causing any trouble at the time, but it can cause an increase in infections, pneumonia, and some have found even cancers at an older age. Because it was such a rare condition, I didn't know if anyone would know how to handle it. So when Dr. Wood said that, oh, I can do it, we can, you know, we've seen it before, you know, we can take this on. It was comforting, you know, it still was a little, you know, anxious, but it was comforting to know that he had seen it and he knew what to do. The main thing we want to do for a patient like Donald is to uh, do this type of operation in a minimally invasive way. So robotic surgery, I felt it would give us some technical advantages and uh, an additional uh, skills uh, to be able to uh, be more sure that we would be able to complete the operation in a minimally invasive manner. Every step of the way has been best case scenario as far as, you know, the best thing that could happen. So we're hoping to continue to have best case scenario and the prognosis based on all of the information that we have is uh, very positive with no limitations going forward and um, possibly some relief for Donald. So looking forward to that and getting this finally over with because it's been a <laughs> long journey of, yes. of dealing with the CCAM. Yes. This area consists of uh, all the general surgeries. We pretty much admit anybody that's going and having surgery or procedures. Our unit here opens up about 4.30. When the nurses get here at 5, uh, I make sure all my staff is available uh, because we like to start our day off with prayer. It's an important part of our day. We huddle, we ask for any special intentions. We pray, of course, for the patients that are going. You know, it gives us an opportunity to kind of bond together and uh, get our day started in the right direction. Got to start with prayer. Praising God for His Word. 
God's Word is unlike any other book. The Bible is a roadmap for life here on earth and for life eternal. As Christians, we're called upon to study God's holy word, to trust his word, to follow its commandments, and to share its good news with the world. The word of Matthew reminds us, the man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. As believers, we must study the Bible and meditate upon its meaning for our lives. Otherwise, we deprive ourselves of a priceless gift from our Creator. Good morning, guys. Right, how are y'all doing? Good. Doing all right. Hungry. <laughs> all right. Any change since I saw y'all? No. I'm thinking it'll probably be maybe a couple hours, something like that. That's okay. what I would guess. And it just all is going to depend a little bit on uh, his anatomy and you know, difficult uh, different aspects of it are. How, we'll, we'll determine how long it takes. Okay. All right. I'll come back to you guys afterwards, okay? All right. All right. And I don't think we should be able to roll back pretty soon. Yeah, so we should be rolling pretty soon. Being a nurse, you know the good, bad, and the uglies that can happen with surgery. And that's what I had to separate myself from. Okay, I'm, I'm mommy. So is this what mommy wants? Is this the decision that I want to make for Donald? Because it's hard. You don't want to see your little child, you know, a baby, go under. You know, you don't want to see that because you don't know what the outcome really is. You can get all the beforehands and the risk factors, but you don't want to see that. When you think of having a kid, you think of them being healthy, growing, and running around playing, not thinking that four months after they're born, they're going to go on to have surgery. So it was, a, it was a very difficult decision. The choice to use the robot in the, a case like this really is so that we can do something minimally invasively uh, in a manner that is more similar technically to what we would do at Open. Well, we began the uh, robotics program here at Our Lady of the Lake in 2010. Robotic surgery is a really interesting technological breakthrough. No question that, that uh, the robot has advanced our understanding and our abilities uh, uh, to do things that we you know, only dreamed of. Now we do almost everything laparoscopic with small hole operations. So it's very rare we do the old fashioned big open cuts anymore. So the robot is the next generation, the next step in laparoscopic surgery. So for me, I do almost all my surgeries that I do like with the robot. We take out people's gallbladders, take out the appendix, we do surgeries on the stomach, surgeries on your intestines, take out cancers. All those things can be done with the robot. I do get a lot of questions, are, so the robot's going to be operating on me? And it's very important to understand that we have complete control of the instruments at all times. The robot has no independent function. It's, not, it's just a very advanced surgical tool. The robot is applied to the patient at the time of surgery, but it's the surgeon at the console that's having complete control over what's happening uh, with the procedure and the surgery itself. Basically what we do is we place the trocars in the patient's uh, abdomen or area of surgery, and then once we do that, we dock the robotic arms. After the robot is docked, then the surgeon breaks scrub and moves to the command module in the corner of the room. And at that command module, the physician is looking through a viewfinder that gives them 3D uh, visualization and magnification. So that helps with the precise technique of robotic surgery. And they're utilizing their hands and their feet to control the robotic arms. The staff in the robotic operating room uh, are critical and the, it, you know, we can't do it without them. They, they have to, you know, understand everything that the surgeon's doing, everything that the robot is doing, and they're helping participate uh, at the bedside. We can position the patients more um, comfortably. We can position the surgeons more comfortably, and we can position the instruments in such a way that we have a better field of view. We have a uh, more technical and um, small range of motion um, movements and we do safer surgery for patients. You know, ideal health care uh, is a blend. It's going to be a blend of, of advancing technology and the human aspect of being a physician. As a physician, you may have a, two different patients with the same disease that you treat completely differently based off of what you learn and, and what's going on in that individual's life and what that individual's desires and hopes are. So, Medicine is as much an art 
as it is a science. The technology component can give you the science aspect, but it has very little to do with the art involved. And so uh, I think they'll always have to be that blend for perfect health management. <laughs> I think most of the cases we do in pediatrics, I, mean, I have a, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a three-week-old, and um, so one of the uh, nice things about that is it just definitely helps make some of these cases uh, uh, more understandable, I think, from a perspective of a dad. Yeah. Everyone knows the risk involved in any surgery. Um, so that's very stressful and a lot of anxiety associated with it. I'm Katie and I'm a certified child life specialist and my job is just to make it easier for patients and families to be in the hospital, especially when they come for surgery, try to make them feel more comfortable, make sure the patients, depending on their age, understand what's going on while they're here, but really for this patient just to make sure his family feels comfortable with his surgery and make sure that he copes well as a little tiny baby, separates well, um, just to make it easier. Typically what I'll do, I'll introduce myself to the families. I can answer any questions they have about being here. Um, and then I'll just explain to them that I can carry him back to the OR. Just it's a little more comfortable than him riding in the bed. Usually it keeps the babies a little more calm um, as they're separating from their parents and going to the OR. Coming up on Louisiana Med. In the past, completing MRIs has been really difficult for me. I've made them stop multiple times and haven't actually finished one of them. Learn more how virtual reality makes a difference for patients with anxiety during MRI exams. Need to see a doctor fast? Lake Express Check-In lets you get in line, online. Visit ollrmc.com slash express to choose an estimated treatment time at one of our emergency room, urgent care, or physician office locations. A service of Our Lady of the Lake. If you think you're having a heart attack, your first decision can save your life. Call 911. Survive. Don't drive. As soon as paramedics arrive, treatment begins. They relay your condition to the hospital, where trained doctors and nurses prepare for your arrival. This saves critical time and can save your life. Survive. Don't drive. This message brought to you by Our Lady of the Lake Heart and Vascular Institute, proud sponsors of BETTER. BETTER is performing major surgeries with only minor incisions. Our Lady of the Lake, the relentless pursuit of better. If we look at our everyday lives, technology is becoming uh, more encompassing. I mean, everyone's got a smartphone and a computer and a tablet, so it's just natural that that would um, translate into healthcare. But it really has provided a lot of safety features to patients. You know, we have our computer systems and you know our robotic instruments, and you know you can you can see it in every aspect of healthcare today. I think technology one is just the access to information, and so frequently. If you're the physician or, or the nurse that's treating that patient at bedside, the more information you have at your fingertip, uh, sometimes the easier it is to provide care that's specific to that patient. We have really evolved from what was a traditional radiology film world to a world where everything is digital. And so patients are getting imaged faster, they're getting results faster, we're delivering our reports to the referring clinicians faster, so it's very quick. And, uh, and that helps with a lot of things. Uh, patients who have problems holding still can now be imaged really with great quality, even if they're moving sometimes. Yeah. Well, 
How are you? Nice to meet you. You too. My name is Mandy. I'm going to be your MRI tech okay. today. Let me check this for you. Perfect. Brittany is a patient who came in to have an MRI of her shoulder and her lumbar spine. She saw her doctor because she was having some pain and he wanted to get some images to help in his diagnosis of what was going on so that they can develop a treatment plan and get her back in shape. The MRI is a very good tool to look at uh, fine soft tissue detail. We can see bones with x-ray and with CAT scan, um, but we don't really see the nerve roots, we don't see the rotator cuff tendons, we don't see those fine soft tissue structures like we do with MRI. And uh, MRI has also the added advantage that there's no radiation involved, and so it really is a great tool uh, for doing that kind of work. The downside of it is it does take a little bit longer to image. When we do MRIs, it's not just one set of pictures. We do multiple pictures of the same body part, and we put all those images together sort of as a puzzle-solving tool and allowing for that entire process to be complete really helps complete the exam. So if the patient holds still, it really improves overall quality there. All of the MRIs are quite lengthy. The fastest one we do is probably about 30 minutes. So when you're in there for that long, with nothing going on, you just get bored and then you start to fidget. In the past, completing MRIs has been really difficult for me. I've made them stop multiple times and haven't actually finished one of them. Um, it's just the anxiety of being enclosed and feeling trapped. They told me you were a little bit claustrophobic and anxious about your test today. Um, here we do have a patient entertainment system where you can watch TV or listen to music. Cinema Vision is a patient entertainment system made specifically for MRI to go into the magnetic environment. It comes with some headphones that the patients are able to hear either the music, the TV, or the movie, and then goggles that sit on top of your face. The goggles have a screen in it that look like a movie theater screen, so it looks like it's far away. So that also helps with the patients who are claustrophobic because even though the goggles are right there on top of their face, it looks like the screen is really far away. So with the entertainment system, it gives you something to totally take your mind off the fact that you're in the MRI and then it allows you to get through it a lot more easily. She's very nervous about her test, um, about being in the scanner, but once I got her set up and I got everything going, she went in just fine. How was the volume? Up a little? Okay, and I'll check with you again once it really starts scanning so you can see if you can hear over. She's doing great. I don't have any motion on my images. Um, everything looks great so far. I think we're going to have a good study to send to the radiologist so that he can't figure out what's going on for her. I think that this technology is great for people that have issues like I have with anxiety. I think it's going to make life for them a lot easier um, and just coming into the facility knowing that this is what to expect, it's not bad. I will have no anxiety in the future with this. Today was great. It was wonderful. I felt completely calm. I was able to let go of my anxiety. When putting the goggles on, I actually felt like I was in a movie theater. So it was not comparable to any other MRI I've ever had. It was wonderful. Patient care is more than just the test. It's more than just the doctor. It's the overall experience and how the doctor and the patient and the medical staff can all work together and, and solve this patient's problems. And any little thing, especially technology, that makes it easier for the patient is going to make them a better historian to their doctor and it's going to leave them in a better place to where we can't get to the bottom of their problems. If I have to have another MRI done, I would not want to do it any other way but this way. This was awesome. Coming up. Donald has been in surgery for about an hour. We're eagerly waiting the end of the saga. Yes. Watch as four-month-old Donald comes out from robotic surgery and is reunited with his family. This is Louisiana Med. Better is a heart and vascular institute that combines diagnostics, treatment, education, and research. Our Lady of the Lake, the relentless pursuit of better. Ever find yourself following in the footsteps of someone whose feet are half your size? Can eyes that look the same as yours make you see things differently? Kids are amazing, which is why at Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital, we're doing amazing things for them. From being able to treat the most critical pediatric conditions to offering patients pet therapy during their stay. 
Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital, the relentless pursuit of better. Need to see a doctor fast? Lake Express Check-In lets you get in line, online. Visit ololrmc.com slash express to choose an estimated treatment time at one of our emergency room, urgent care, or physician office locations. A service of Our Lady of the Lake. It's shortly after 10 right now. Um, Donald has been in surgery for about, well, in the back for about three hours. He's been in surgery for about um, an hour. He started at nine o'clock. Um, so we're eagerly waiting the end of the saga. Yes. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Before surgery, you know, the unexpected, so you're nervous, you're happy that it'll be over when it's all done, but you're still nervous because your child's going, you know, to have surgery. For me, you know, it was hard. It's hard because you don't want to, you know, you want to put your child in good hands and you want to trust that you're doing that. You know, you want to still protect them. They just called from the OR and said Dr. Wood is closing up and he should be coming to speak with us. So we're just awaiting him to come in and let us know what's going on. So how are you feeling? Anxious. Anxious. <laughs> uh, to making sure that he's able to uh, breathe on his own and um, the surgery being over and um, hopefully best case scenario for everything. So glad that it's you know, coming to an end soon. <laughs> Yes. Everything went fine? Uh, he did great the whole thing. He was stable. And I'm expecting him to go to the floor afterwards. Got the chest tube in. Um, and as we talked about, we went ahead and did the chamber instead of the, the uh, bulb just to make sure he didn't build up any air in there. How will we know how much pain and stuff? Or I think unless you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is it typical that, you know, with the smaller incisions, it would be. It like should this? be better. In this case, it's not so much the length of the skin incision, that's more just cosmetic. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that we didn't have to spread the ribs. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's still some, there's going to be some manipulation that occurred on the ribs just from the instruments flex, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, using the ribs kind of as a fulcrum, um, but that should be no, nowhere near a throat economy. Mm -hmm. and so that should give you pretty good pain relief. For, so the robot something. was a good idea. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it, definitely, it definitely made things technically uh, easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any questions? When um, when will we get to see him? Um, probably now another fifteen minutes. Or so. Fifteen. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. of seeing him and then waiting for so long and now I want you to see him like okay he's okay I can finally say he's okay so that's 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 comforting I want to see a smile <laughs> I want to see a smile Talking to mom and dad afterwards, I know they were excited that we were able to do the case um, without having to open, without having to, have, having to make a bigger incision. Um, and I think what they're going to see is he's going to bounce back real quickly. He's going to start feeding quickly. He'll start being back to his normal, cute self.
on the next episode of Louisiana Med. Doctors and nurses continue their inside look into the advanced technology being used in healthcare. See how nurses use smartphones to monitor patients at all times. Our Volt phones help us technology-wise. Anytime a nurse needs us, a nurse needs help, or a phone call or a text away. Meet pharmacists who are using the automated technology of a carousel to fill prescriptions faster. The carousel will spin, and then the technician pulls the medication out and will actually scan it with the barcode scanner that assures them that they have the right medication. Learn about Lynx, a simple device that uses magnets to provide relief to patients with acid reflux. The problems that I was having with sore throats, bronchitis, and things like that were probably due to the acid reflux. The device that comes in several sizes, when we do the surgery, we pass this into the patient's abdomen, and we wrap it around the junction between the esophagus and the stomach and kind of buckle it. And it's, it's that simple. That's all there is to the surgery. And connect with Lake Express Check-In, an online reservation system that's allowing patients to receive emergency care faster than ever before. Once a person has completed their check-in, many of us uh, will receive an email that says, in quicker, new patient notification. This is Louisiana Med.